go. Here we go. I'm on now. And the net. There we go. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm actually really excited to share this video with you guys. This was an awesome day, caught a lot of good fish. But unfortunately, uh, the first bite happened so early, it was still dark, so you can barely see what happened, and uh, I forgot to do an intro and kind of welcome you guys. If you have any questions about the gear I use, everything's gonna be in the description below. Go check that out. But let's get into it, enjoy. All right, guys, I know it's early. Probably kind of hard to see a little bit. Got a 5,000 Stratic, 40 pound braid, heavy rod, fast action, eight foot. I have 50 pound fluorocarbon leader, and today I'm using a white X wrap, but this one was painted by a guy named Joe Rizzo. He does a phenomenal job painting these. I have a couple colors I want to try today, but I'm going to start off with the white because I know that's what they're eating. I'm going to go ahead, cast this out here. Let's start trolling. Oh, <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Super early bite, guys. This is crazy. Come here. Come here. It's not even. It's not even 6:30. I'm already hooked up. That's ridiculous. Dude. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. <laughs> oh, this is awesome. Oh, I see him. I see him. Come here, dude. Come here, come here, come here. Dude, this tuna. All right. Oh, I'm going to try to net him. I'm cutting on my fingers, pulling him in by the leader. So, I'm going to try to net this dude today. If you'll let me. Nope, come here. Jeez. We got ourselves a fighter, man. Come on. Come on. Come on. Dude. He's get, dude, he's running from something. There's gotta be a shark or something nearby. Got the leader on. Okay, I'm trying to move forward here. No. No, come here. Come here, dude. Get to the side of me. 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 In the net. There we go. Ah, oh, you do fit in my net. Sweet. Oh, that's going to make life so much easier. Okay. There we go. Another one. Ah. Already got our first tuna of the morning. I'm going to go ahead and keep him. He hooked himself in the gills and he's already bleeding out all over. So I'm going to keep him. Probably hand him out to someone. I got so much tuna meat. It's ridiculous right now. But another great fish. Let's go get some more. I'm gonna to try to catch more than one today. Let's see if we can do that. <laughs> All right guys, this is what Laura was talking about. So this is an X-Wrap size 14 blank that uh, a local buddy of mine, he went ahead and painted and he does custom colors and stuff like that. So I went with white because I know they like white, but now I'm gonna tie this one on. This is more of a Spanish mackerel color 
It's got the little yellow spots on the side. It's got the stripes up top. It's like blue and white. So let's tie that one on and give that one a try. Oh, 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 there we go, there we go. I'm on, go, here we go, I'm on now. There we go. This actually feels like a bonita, for real this time. Nah, it might be a tuna. Nah, it's a tuna, okay. They're catching bonita on the radio, or at least they're calling out Benito on the radio. Nah, that's a tuna. Nah, that's a tuna. Oh, and this is on the Spanish. The Spanish uh, X-Rap. Come here. Dude. Yeah, that's a tuna for sure. Oh, come on, man. Oh, no, did you just come up? Oh, you just came unhooked. Oh, you just came off. Dang it. He came off. Shit. All right, guys, so we're out deep. So let me kind of catch you up to speed here. Uh, we caught that one super early this morning. That was great. Switched lures to the uh, Spanish colored X-Wrap. Hooked up to another, but he somehow spit the hook. I was kind of surprised by that because normally they're going to spit the hook. They do it early. Like I was able to tighten the drag. He had some really good runs with the tighter drag. I was pumping him too. So like I'm kind of surprised he came undone, but it is what it is. He gave me a fight. He's still in the water, alive and well. So know what? That's a win-win. I'm not complaining. <laughs> so now we're going to do one more pass here in this deeper water. And then we're gonna transition, go through the sandbars, and see if we can hook up to some Spanish. Heard they've been running lately. There's not a lot of them right now, but they are along the beaches. So I'm gonna see if we can find some Spanish today. All right, so Levi's spotting Spanish closer to the boat ramp. I think I can see him. But I'm just gonna whip a gotcha around. So what a lot of guys are throwing gotchas, I see this a lot. People will cast them out and they don't know what to do with it. So they'll like kind of reel and then give it a few pops and then reel and then a few pops. Not gonna say it's not gonna work. I'm sure it will because Spanish are not the brightest fish in the ocean, but it doesn't really have a whole lot of action. If anything, it might just kind of go side to side very slowly, kind of like that. What I like to do, how I work these gotcha plugs, it's very, very erratic. This also works for mahi and all kinds of pelagic species, but you're just constantly popping it. And you kind of get into a rhythm where you're popping and reeling at the same time. And that thing is darting around like crazy. It does wear out your shoulder though, so get ready for a killer shoulder workout and a forearm workout. Oh shit. Yeah. Reds. Reds. That's reds. This gotta be reds or black drum. Yeah, I'm about to I might have to tie something else on. I need to get a monster shot on. Alright, we spotted a big school of something. It's either redfish or black drum. Chasing them now. There we go. Oh, he spit it. Damn it. All right. It's falling into the school. There we 
go. There we go. Yep, I'm on. Got one. There we go. Hooked up. Let's see what we got here. Right, come here. All right, he's going back this way. All right, got him away from the school. That's good. Come here. Oh, I want to see what it is. Is this a black drum or is it a redfish? I think it's a black drum. No, I think it's red. Wait, wait, wait. We'll see. We'll see. Hold up. Let me get him. Let me get him up and confirm. Bull red. Bull red. Big red fish too, man. Hold up. All right, this camera's going to die, so I'm going to turn him off. Turn it on whenever uh, I get him in. I might need a bump board. <laughs> Dude, that's a big red. This might be a PV right here. That's a big red. Oh, wait, no, it is black. Black drum. Come here, dude. Come here, dude. Stud. Get in. Get in that dude. Get in that dude. Alright. Alright. I got him. He's in the net. He's in the net. He's tired though. Alright. He's like partially in there. He's not in there good though. He's not like where I want him to be. Ah, oh, come here man. Alright. He's good. He's good now. All right. Yep. Got him. Alright. That's what I wanted. Whew. Okay, I wanted Spanish, but uh, got a donkey black drum instead. I'll take that. I'm not complaining. That is awesome. Look at that, guys. Big black drum. Started the morning off trolling for tuna. Successfully caught one of those, and now we're catching drum in the surf from a kayak. That is cool. Very happy with that. All right, let's get this fish in the water. I have another GoPro in the water already. Ugh. So hopefully we can get some cool underwater shots of this fish here. You can hear him drumming. Oh no, don't take the fish grips from me, bud. I promise you don't want that. Big fish, man, big guy. All right, I'm gonna see if I can grab his tail. the fish grips off of him before he swims off with them. There we go. There we go. Awesome, man. What a good fish. Got some good. Oh, no. Is this dolphin going to mess him up? I don't think they will. I hope not. I think he's too big for that. You good, man? There you go. All right. I think he's a little too big for dolphin. I don't think they can mess with him. He's good. He's on the bottom. I can see him cruising that way. Sick. All right, guys, real quick, because I know I'm going to have questions. Uh, so this is what that black drum ate. This is a Yozuri monster shot, and this is the tiniest one. This is the 80S. Uh, so these are absolute drum killers on the sandbars from a kayak. There was a previous video I did uh, about a year ago from now. And um, I crushed bull reds all day on this. They love them. And apparently black drum like him too. This was in his mouth, so he ate it. And all I did was I cast over the school a little bit, a little bit ahead of him, ripped it in. When I saw that my lure is flashing right above the school, I killed it and just let it fall. And he ate it on the drop. So if you want to go chase some bull reds from the surf and a kayak, I definitely recommend getting some of these. They work really well. Yeah, look, see that dark cloud that's moving? That's them. Man, okay guys, so a little update here. I'm waiting for a buddy to come pick up this tuna that I caught this morning. Some Spanish crews by, so let's see if we can pop some Spanish here. Just had a big one break me off.
I'm gonna tie on another gotcha. Ow. Oh, come on. One hit it. One hit it. There we go. There we go. Got one. Oh, no, he's on. He's on. Come here, bud. Come here, bud. Hell yeah. You're going to make excellent snapper bait, buddy. Thank you. So this is what I plan on doing with these Spanish guys. I'm not going to eat them. They're small enough so we can use them as bait. We're going to butterfly them and drop them down the reefs later this summer. Because apparently big snapper love Spanish. So we're going to give that a shot. Caught some tuna. Caught a black drum. Now we're catching Spanish. Oh, come on. There we go. Got another one. Doesn't get better than that. Does not get better than that. Come here, dude. What is, what is that right there? Is that uh, something else? <sighs> These are actually good sizes, too. Whoa, okay. Had to do a wardroom change real quick because uh, I was getting hot. But we're still in the school of Spanish. Oh, I see them. They're thick. They're like right in front of Levi right here. There's like a dark cloud of them. Get a little closer to him. All right, should we get there? Yep, it's right in school. One's looking at it. Got a few looking at it. They're trying for it. Yep, there we go. Got him. Now I can just horse him in too. With this big rod. Uh, he's actually in good condition. See, he good. Oh yeah, he's good. I'll let that one go. Uh, all right, guys. So we're back on the beach. Just loaded up the kayaks. What a day! Started off with tuna, came back in the shore, caught a black drum, and then polished off some Spanish. Does not get better than that. Hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, hit that subscribe button so you see future videos. And I'll see you guys next time.